you doing today? This is your girl, Giselle the Sheep. I'll see I am back with the next video for you. And if you have been tuning in, if you like what I have going on on this video, I will be applying the 25 millimeter extra large, okay, 5D lashes. Yes, these lashes are stupid long and ratchet. I will um, be having these on my website as well. So, uh, ladies, stay tuned for that coming up. One thing about these lashes I don't like is that they always come, one of them, one side comes with like this extra piece that's a little bit longer on the tip than the other. So I just like to go ahead and cut that off. And I have these very expensive long scissors so y'all don't judge me, okay? And so I usually like to check that and make sure that the width is looking right, looking even on both of them. Um, because these lashes do go to getting dumb and irritable and acting a fool, okay? So, this is the hack that I like, and this is one of my little uh, go-tos. Yes, I do have eyelash glue. I can tell you the name of it. And I normally, I normally don't use it, but I am going to use it today since I am trying to do the right thing for y'all. But if it don't work out, I'm going to. I'm going to slap some of this damn glue. This uh, hair glue, because that's what I normally use. Okay? And I'm going to take, it has a little tip. I'm going to take a little piece of it and just dab it like this. Because it has a tip, you can kind of dab it on the edge right there. some strong glue. That's why I don't like it. But I'm going to grin and bear it today. Right. So I already have the piece on my eyelash. And what I'm doing is using a shorter lash, a more natural looking lash up underneath it. So that like at the root when you have that little flare out just in case you get some spacing at the base you can have this piece kind of like a primer lash piece to make sure that it is being filled in the spots that need to be filled in when it comes to that bottom flutter and flare all right but I just kind of like blow up up to my towards my eyeball while I'm letting it dry, and then I kind of make sure it's bending and sitting where I need it to while it's drying. Okay, that's very important. It needs to sit still. So if that happens, where I get a little separation, just go back and put it. Put a drop on the end. Let me do this the right way. What uh, you would do is use the tweezers to grab that part right there. Put on a piece on the tip. Because I don't really want to have to take the whole thing off. Putting the glue off and on is very aggravating. And it makes the glue wear out quicker. So basically, using tweezers and tools to help you to be um, will help you to be accurate and precise with your placement. That is what you want. You want accurate and preciseness with your placement. That is what makes the difference. Make sure that it is on top of the eye, as you can see. It's laid on there, perfect. And then what I do once I get that situated, make sure that's in place. I take it upon myself to push the lash up. My real lash up into the eyelash. And that way it really gets a good adhesive, okay? So then what I do is take gonna use the now I'm gonna use the hair glue for this one because these 
these lashes is a little bit more serious business and I ain't got time to be playing around. So I'm going to make sure that I put it. Now, what I like to do is make sure I get it on the bottom side right here. I'm going to let you know why. And also on the top layer. Just above the rim. Just above the rim. Smooth little line like that. Okay. These are a little bit thicker at the roots. And they're actually a little bit heavier. And so what I do not like is to put some light glue on there. It's going to be flipping and flopping. Now, the way that you use this properly, this is adhesive, okay? It's not glue. It's adhesive. So this is what you want to do. You can get a blow dryer, but I just use my mouth. Go ahead and blow that thing off real good. It don't take long. You want that glue to get tacky. That's what you want. You want that tackiness. Just blow till you can't blow. No, no, no. Go ahead and get anything that looks excessive and looks like it's not supposed to be there off of that before you put on the lash, okay? Because the worst thing, you know what? I ain't got time for this. See, this is the blue shit I can tell her. I'm not going to edit this because this is what happens, okay? So we just have to show you how to fix it. Move from it. There's nothing but something stuck on the lash. Um... Oh, my tools. All right. I got my old trusty screwdriver here. This is what I do. I take that. Now, this is something that has caught on to glue in something else. So, kind of what I'm doing is taking that, sliding that flat piece in between there, trying to slide it off. Because, see, what happens if you go to pulling it and it won't come, you're going to pull that whole lash out. Your whole swag is just going to be going down the drain and I don't I, this is my last set of new lashes that I have on me don't worry about the glue dry because you can always put more you want to make sure that you get that lash back in place okay <laughs> that's the main thing you don't want to not have that situation properly okay so I'd rather just stay and lay over there make sure that guy is really good make sure you Put the tweezers close to the, so it won't blow off, close to the rim. Soon I think I'm going to try the um, magnetic lashes. I'm thinking about trying it. Okay, now this is what you want to do once you kind of blow it in for a minute. You got some good tackiness. You want to, pop my wrist. You want to take that towards the middle. So if you gotta pull that down, make sure you do that. Lay it down. Now I like to go from the middle of what they call the inside to the outside. So I like to place and push down and low. Pull down low as you can get it. Make sure you're looking at the top. Good placement, good placement. Perfect. And you just want to push it in towards the rim. I like that. It's sitting real good. Okay. Got that going on there. And then what I do is usually have another pair of tweezers. This part down. This really gets the two sets connected to each other and it's great, ensures a great adhesive adhesement, meaning that it really 
locking on there. You can feel it kind of drying and sitting. All right. And that is pretty much all there is to it. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the eyelash. Remember, the key to the successful lash application are the tools that you use to apply, <laughs> okay? That's really what it comes down to. These little tools are handy for a successful application. If you're not willing to learn how to use them and you're still trying to do it with your hands, that is fine. Let me know how that continues to not work out for you. But whenever you are ready, willing and able to attempt something new to see if it will work for you just come right on back to this video and watch it again okay give us a thumbs up yep I normally would have been a came and freestyle. Like, uh -uh, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna keep giving y'all all my songs in here, okay? Not right now. Y'all stay tuned. I got some videos coming soon. See how Ryan is? I didn't try to do that. And that, that one just really came out. It just came out. I'm like, oh, girl, you look so beautiful. By the way, my name is Giselle the She Boss, and like I said, if you haven't already, while I'm thinking about it, and while I'm like, while I'm really on it, before I forget, please go down below, like, comment, subscribe, share, dislike if you dislike it. Okay, I'm not trying to force you to do anything that you don't want to do. Um, gonna do the same thing for this eye. Get a light, light line. Right down the line and lash line. Smooth little slide. Now, uh, once again, there is no, now with the lashes, I'm not going to say that there is a right and wrong way to apply, but I still do what I want to when I want to, so ain't nobody just going to make me do nothing, but I only advise um, using this clear liner, because I can't even really tell you the name of the product I have, because it's, the um, paper has been scratched off of, I don't even know the name. Um, but if you do use it, I advise you to just put it on the lash and wait till the lash dries. I would not advise you to put it directly on your lash line unless you are more skilled and have a very steady hand, okay? More of an experienced person, I would suggest the only one to do that because that is not the proper way I'm just gonna tell you that now they didn't teach us that in school that's just something i do
So basically, this is the finishing look. So as you can see, I got a freshly beat face, all right? Um, I did my makeup, I did the basic beat, and then I came back and did um, a little bit more on the beat. And then I did a remix to the beat, okay? So basically, it's jazzy on the track, <laughs> okay? So now you know. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for joining me. If you haven't already, go down below, like, dislike, comment, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell for your girl. Okay, so something for me and the algorithms, as they say. <laughs> All right, but for real, thank y'all so much for joining me once again. This is the addition and the new series from me to you. We wine and wigs. Go ahead and find one time before we leave out because it won't be right, okay? And let's just puff, puff, pass. Relax, relate, release. Will, and then rehab, okay? It's like the next step. I can't find it later. Man, somebody got me. All right, well, anyway, later, y'all. Oh, and if you like this, stay tuned because of what I'm about to do with his head. You don't want to miss this, boo. Okay? Tell a friend to tell a friend.